and more, much more than this, it's Aberration Launch Day. Right, no more Frank Sinatra from me. Welcome back to a brand new video, guys, and welcome back to actual Aberration Launch Day, we hope. Um, yeah, I, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, we're hoping it's going to be Aberration Launch Day, so... Studio Wildcard have just posted out a brand new response on um, Twitter or X, whatever you call it, um, on a new release time frame. Um, it's not that much longer. Um, it's, an, uh, it's about an extra five hours um, from the last one, but I'm just going to be showing you guys the news um, and uh, hopefully it helps out. It's very, it is frustrating because obviously I really just want to play this map now and as it's getting later and later in the day today... I'm getting paranoid thinking, oh no, don't, <laughs> uh, yes, yesterday I was like, um, I don't, I'm so glad that I don't have to, um, the sort of do deal with like the all-nighters, but as it's getting later, I'm like, please don't make me deal with the all-nighter today, <laughs> um, but if you guys do enjoy today's video, um, and you wouldn't mind dropping a like, let's see if we can smash 2,000 likes on today's video, and subscribe if you're new around here, and let's dive into the news, so, um, pretty much, Studio Wildcard have posted on Twitter saying, Launch update. We've resolved the platform submission errors, and the builds are moving into the final phase of release. Um, we expect to launch Aberration Ascended and Bob's Tool Tales Steampunk Ascent at 12pm Pacific. We appreciate you every well. We appreciate everyone hanging in there with us. So, before this, if I'm correct, it was 8, no... Let's just double check. I think before this it was, um, right, so yeah, let's just quickly go onto their Twitter. Oh yeah, it was a 7am PDT launch. Um, I don't know why they're using, I, I don't even know the difference to be honest, that's uh, pretty bad for me. But So before they said 7am PDT, which was 3pm, so that was, as of recording this video, that was in 20 minutes from now. Um, now them saying um, it's 12pm Pacific, that means that it is going to be five hours away from now. Now, there's been no more delays since then. Now, that tweet was posted out at 6 a.m. So, we've had... That's UK time, by the way. I always have to say that just because I don't want to, like, confuse anyone. But it is now 20 to 3. The launch is meant to be 8 p.m. UK time. <laughs> and let's please, please hope... That Studio Wildcard doesn't need to delay it any further. Um, I'm, I, yeah, I, I really hope there's no, there's no changes there. Um, I saw the Discord actually earlier going absolutely crazy, and um, Dolly <laughs> has been posting out some stuff um, on the Discord, and she put, "Yo, this is deeply weird," and someone had posted something crazy about Dolly. Um, they said, sounds like cope and projection to me. I'm saying the truth. Has Dolly not been the community manager? Has she not done this consistently in the past? Said is nowhere to be found or else he would have catched catch the blame too. But he learnt. I don't know. Why is it bad um, to hold people accountable? It's not like I've given them money. I guess you are right. It does kind of feel like I'm just beating up a bum who doesn't know better. Same feeling when trying to hold Dolly accountable. Plus, you guys are right. It's been eight to nine map releases and Dolly will Dolly will consistently build a people's hype up about a release date that apparently isn't solid, but she acts like it is. Can I just say one thing there, right? Like, from, from that post from um, that Dolly's, Dolly said this is weird, is... Do you have to remember Dolly isn't the owner of what Studio Wildcard? Like, I know some people will be like, "Oh, Dom, you're just defending Wildcard here." But like, Dot, like you have to remember when you're told something. So like, your boss has told you something, and you're allowed to say it to everyone else, and you and you're so glad because you can finally give some good news to people, and then it changes up high because something goes wrong. There's nothing that Dolly can do about it. Like, you know, like, you, you, you're told stuff, you know, you can't change the, you know, you can't change what the other people are working on. Dolly's literally just saying what she's allowed to say from people above. So that's a really, really harsh. Um, 
But um, um, it goes on to say, I don't know how you could think this uh, this person holds zero responsibility in how the community views the games. When she would say ten plus times, it's um, it's the game. Uh, what's it go? Oh, it's going to be out at a time, and then it gets delayed. Don't at ping me to build hype and then not have a solid time. It's crazy. No other video game does this yet. People defend Dolly. It's been eight releases of this, not a single one on time, yet every single time Dolly treats it like it will be. Savala isn't like that. I think Dolly should be fired. She is one or she is the one who built people's expectations. Savala is the best CM. Now, one that's pretty crazy because Savala, um, I uh, you know I love Savala. She seems really really nice. But she doesn't really post like lows in the community because I think she's the assistant community manager. So she's still building through the ranks. So that, again, is just crazy. So you have to really remember that like, Dolly is the, the main sort of hub for information. And yes, she may get things wrong. But it's like, I know there may be some people watching this saying, oh, Dom, you're just backing up Dolly so much here. But, you know, I've made many videos in the past saying that I haven't been happy with something with Studio Wildcard. But... The thing is, as I said earlier, you're told something from someone higher up, you go, you get excited, you're like, yes, I can finally tell the community this, you tell them that, and they delay it, and that's just how it's been happening, and it's 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 the higher up management that needs to sort out the delays and, um, you know, and how things are managed, it's not Dolly, um, so... Um, yes, I do agree that they have never met a date, and, uh, you know, they can't seem to get anything on time. But this is down to higher up management. So, you know, they I would love one day to st for Studio Wildcard to actually take a look at the, themselves and be like, right, this is just not acceptable anymore. And they can work on it because, yeah, they may joke about the delays, but it generally is it harms your company in the long run because you're literally you you make a name for yourself right and studio wildcard have made a pretty bad name for themselves over the years yes as if you look at studio wildcard as an overall project you think wow the guys that created arc survival evolved what a lovely game you know like what uh, the game that's created so many memories and stuff so they'll always have like love for that but then overall, if someone says Studio Wildcard to someone, they'll be like, oh, you can't trust that company. And that is obviously how it is. So I feel like it would be amazing if Studio Wildcard did like a No Man's Sky, um, you know, like kind of, like, I'm not saying completely revamp the game because obviously the game, it needs revamping. It's going to get a performance update in this update. But it would be nice if one day they were like, right, big company changes are happening, we're doing, um, you know, we're doing this, we're changing it, there's going to be no more delays, and by the way, I'm saying, I'm not, I'm not just saying that you can never delay something, it happens, right, like, it's life, things happen, and you can't get in the way of it, but, um, you know, if it's happening one time, two time, three time, four time, five time, six time, you know, just getting to the point where it's just crazy delay, it does become a bit of a joke to people because obviously people have taken the day off of work. Um, and I know there's people in the comments that have been saying like, you're crazy if you take off a, a day for ARC. But like, but like, you know, people just want to take off time for what they want to take off time for, you know, like whether it, if it's a holiday or just a day off, you know, some people just take a day off to relax and put their feet up and watch the TV. There's no difference with doing that and then wanting to relax, put your feet up and play arc. You know, it's like, isn't it's, it's, I don't understand that, that thing. Like, you know, if you, if sometimes if you want to take a break and play your favorite game, then that sounds like a pretty good day to me. Um, but anyway, um, that's going to be the video. I will keep you guys updated for the rest of the day. We've got five hours to go. Please, arc aberration, don't let us down.